Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain. I am adjusting my my headset there. Okay, so this is the, the chef run. And this is the chef run that we've been waiting for. We're finally all through all the characters of it. Finally. Freaking, it's taken forever. But, uh, <laughs> since we started this. But after this run, should I succeed? Um, it can be said. Oh my god, what is this on my mouse? It's a fluff ball. Get your freaking, like, dust bunnies out of my cord bundles. What is happening here? Oh god, why am I suddenly struck by OCD? <laughs> why does this happen to me? Uh, okay, anyway. So, if we beat this, then the prophecy is fulfilled. We've done the all-character run with origin only. And beat it. And, uh, you know, no deaths. So that's good. The bad news is... Uh... If I die, then I have to start over, I guess? I don't know, that's not really bad news. That's kind of been the... That's not even news. It's old news. It was new... Uh, a time ago. Uh, Chef is a really fun character. I've had a lot of fun since the update that brought the Chef. Uh, I don't think it's he's a bad character at all. These two Imp Shrines at the start here... ...are pretty sweet. Oh, we got Goat Hoof right off the bat. That's pretty sweet. There's the teleporter right here, as well as like a million money devices. That is sweet as well. This is gonna be great, I believe. It's a magma worm, that's also pretty great. Not a one shot. You can do enormous you as you see, with that single attack, we did like enormous amounts of damage to this worm. Uh, I do need to, however, be careful of my health. So we're just gonna try and, you know, not take a terribly large amount of damage. Right off here. That should kill the worm, yeah. Ooh, Red Whip is pretty good, pretty good start. Not the best uh, movement speed item in my opinion, but very, very useful. Um, nonetheless. Okay, so that's bad. That's bad, I don't like that at all. Uh, that also means that we have to wait here until that disappears. Which could be dangerous. It's like a challenge mode. It's like, you know, a trap. When you go into an area and then, like, you know, in an RPG and the door, sh door or, like, the passage, like, slammed, bars slammed down from the ceiling behind you, and ahead of you there's just monsters, we have to, you know, fight our way out of this adversity. War Banner's pretty good, too. Attack speed is great. Scales great with the chef. Alright. So, there we go, it's gone. Just gotta make sure, let give it a little bit of time here so that, just in case. Alright, now we can walk past. That's good. Um, I need to save enough money to play both of those Imp Shrines, because that is very cheap items if we can uh, successfully get them, and I don't think we'll have any, any problem. They're very conveniently located. At your local local deli. Uh, let's get this tier one here. Actually, yeah, no, that's we want that. Hermit scarf is pretty good. Uh, the one thing that I'm gonna say is healing. That's always an issue, always a concern. Um, but we have time to get healing. We don't have to get that necessarily immediately. Alright, two rusty blades. Now we can have one for each hand. Okay, let's kill him. We'll, we should have enough for this other imp, imp play. And then uh, we'll just get out of here. And Sprouting Egg is better than nothing. It's not a terrible item at all. And it makes a pretty big difference, especially if you don't have any other healing. Like, the difference between not having a healing item and having Sprouting Egg is pretty good. It's like a very, very discount, uh, oh, hey, look at it, $69 shop, and we get a very, the discount, we, so, so Sprouting Egg is the discounted version of Bustling Fungus, so, um, I dig it. Oh, and there's another one, too, ooh, that's really good. We're gonna probably get both. Should probably not, uh, we should probably let Red Whip do its work here. All 
Alright, what boss do we got? Ancient Wisp. Not a problem. Alright. Yeah. Ooh, War Banner, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I said that because I'm the chef. You get it? We're cooking with gas. I say that anyway a lot. But uh, it's pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm tempted to just stay down here. Usually I would like try and move around and try and move the enemy spawns around, but honestly, we can probably just tank for, you know, a pretty long time in this uh, double war banner stack. In two war banners, you do not get increased uh, attack speed, like extra increased attack speed when you have multiple war banners. What you get is increased healing. Um, so yeah, we actually have like a really solid healing aura here. You'll notice we get three, 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 and that's actually a percentage of our health. War banner heals a percentage. The higher your health is, the more healing you'll get. Yeah, this is very, very good healing. <laughs> I just want to let them damage me a little bit. Just look how fast I heal. Crazy. Legendary Spark is also a very cool item. I like to get it whenever I can because it doesn't drop in command, and so any runs with command, you're automatically not going to get the uh, the special boss items, which is kind of sad. But uh, also, it gives you know not playing with command ha has a benefit. You know, you get these awesome items that you can't normally get. And Legendary Spark is one of the better ones, actually. It's a proc item. It does pretty sweet. It has a pretty sweet effect. It looks awesome. You know, I dig it. All right. What do we got over here? Nothing. There were some things over there. We want to get the bustling fungus. Sixty-nine dollar chests are always great. Uh, gasoline is pretty good. Pick up the healing drone, because why not? And you know, Red Whip for, uh, for, this, for the chef who doesn't really have a movement skill already, um, Red Whip is a very nice early pickup. Ooh, my god, we can dice up some fruits. We have all the healing now. Uh, now we just need damage, basically. Uh, yeah, this, this level totally solved our uh, healing problems, 100%. We should be able to maybe make this jump. Oh, not quite. That's okay. And I am going to get this other bustling fungus. The other option here is uh, the uh, piggy bank. But I'm not going to take that because I think the effect of having two bustling fungus is going to be that much, or a little bit better for us than... Uh, the effect of having like a slight amount of more gold. Now uh, let's see what the healing number is on this. 40 right now, okay. That's pretty good. All right. So we have a broken bridge, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit dangerous. I do need to be a little bit careful. Um, because we don't have a war banner out. We don't have three war banners out like last time, but we do have a uh, pretty good healing. Just need to take it easy here. I'd love to level up down here, and then we could uh, get that war banner swag rolling. Just keep jumping around. Alright, there we go. Yeah. There's our war banner too. Excellent. Panic Mines is pretty good. I should pick that up before it disappears. Pretty good damage. Oh, 
Oh man, this attack speed is really nice. One thing that uh, the chef does excel at, I think, is uh, holding one position. Um, this is not something that you do in glass, because then everybody everything kills you, but the uh, the third skill and then the like the oil and then sear. Actually, is that oil? What, what skill is this? Glaze. Glaze and then sear combo is pretty strong. Um, slows them down and then you push them away and stun them and then you just go to town with your cleavers. Chef is uh, pretty nifty. Just the aesthetic is really, you know, quite awesome. Yeah, we're, we're having no trouble mowing down everything here. First aid kit is pretty useful. Alright, we got some money. We don't have a ton of money, but uh, we will go back for some items. We are making really, really good time here. We're at 10 minutes on the second stage here. Third stage, sorry. Yeah, wow. Third stage, 10 minutes. Rusty jetpack is pretty sweet. I'll take a golden gun. That's really good. Extra damage. Up to 70% of your base damage. Which is a ton. And your first golden gun. That's just super, super great. Alright. We do have enough money. I think we are... I mean, we have a time advantage right now. We're moving so fast through this... This episode is probably not going to take that long. Honestly, this run is great. Uh, look at all these tier 2s as well. Ooh. Plasma Chain. Excellent. Harvester Scythe. Great. I'm loving it. Plasma Chain is extra damage. And... Uh, Telescopic Sight uh, is nifty, I guess. I mean, it's a neat thing to have. It doesn't work like 90% of the time. I'm pretty sure it's just broken. Uh, one of the recent patches broke it. And it just, just straight up does not function as intended anymore. Oh man, Frost Relic 2! Now we can make like smoothies! I'm excited, are you guys excited? Uh, Frost Relic is one of my favorite items, one of the best, one of the new best items in the game. Hive Cluster, alright, so we don't have to deal with cremators. No uh, turtle stew tonight, but we may end up with some, uh, some bacon, we'll see. Wait, hold on, let's kill this guy and then we'll be able to play this shrine like a bunch of times. Alright, heal up. Bustling fungus making the health shrines always something that you want to consider at least. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any trouble at all. Uh, Frost Relic is one of those items that just stops flying enemies all together. Like, you don't really have to worry about it. And we don't have to worry about it in the first place, just because, you know, Chef is a really good flying enemy killer. You got lots of uh, piercing attacks. The, uh, and then we have, like, really good anti-flying attacks from, or anti-flying items. I'm, I feel like I'm having a stroke sometimes, because I can't figure out what I'm going to say. Apo you know, no, no offense... To, if you are having a stroke, I guess. I don't know if you would take offense from that. Because uh, it probably isn't a stroke. It's just like me kind of zoning out a little bit. Um, oh man, here we go. Oh man, these guys hurt. Okay, yeah. We need to be a little bit careful here. We cannot tank through the double explosive parents. But look at all the damage that we're doing. Oh man. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really good. I will take that. Will of the Wisp is great. Not only for the damage that it does, but uh, it also knocks every enemy up, which uh, stuns them for a little bit. So it's a very useful item. Man, 
Man, this is such a fast chef run. I, we might even just go to the next stage without even worrying about items. We have definitely exceeded the time scale on this one. This is a real good run. You know, we could go back here. Because I think there was like a roulette shrine or something. And we'll just kill things on our way, and we can just go get items while the timer's going. The birds will follow us, so that's not too big of a deal. As long as nothing uh, that can't teleport or fly to us doesn't spawn. Then we can just keep going. Mainly I was just coming back for this. Oh man, yeah, I'll take another one. May I? I may. So stacking frost relics just adds an extra... Um, like little frost circle that goes around and increases it by one whenever you pick one up which is pretty dang good although you can end up crashing the game actually because you get so many frost relics uh, it creates too many projectiles on this or too many like too many artif not artifacts what is it called in game maker too many uh, objects on the screen maybe I don't know if that's the right word for it but either way, it can crash the game uh, when you start getting like, you know, 10 and then you kill like a bunch of boars at once or something. It, it slows real, it slows down real fast. Um, but it does incredible damage. The, the item itself already does such incredible damage that it's not even necessary to stack it super high. Uh, stacking it super high just makes it ludicrous uh, at that point. I have done a run like that too. Uh, I know I'm speaking from experience, so. <laughs> All right. Main problem with bugs here is that uh, the bugs cancel out our red whip. And we are trying to find the teleporter, obviously, as quick as possible to capitalize on our time advantage. Oh yeah, this is going to go real fast too. Uh, actually, you know, I, what I like to do with boars is not kill them until the end of the teleporter event, just because they're going to be summoning boarlets, which uh, all add to frost relic. And so we should just be able to mow down literally everything with the boost that we get from the boarlets. Honestly, the, uh, the toxic beast doesn't know what's good for them. They don't know what's good for the rest of the good for the rest of their like planet and all of its inhabitants. They just kind of mindlessly reproduce, and you can take advantage of that with a number of items. Anything with on-kill effects. Uh, Borlets are a prime target. Sp you know, specifically speaking, like, infusion is incredible, obviously. Um, you know, anything with, uh, that does damage, like... Oh, I should heal. Anything that, you know, shoots out missiles when things die, or, you know, causes damage to other dudes when they die, or gives you a buff when it dies, that's all, that's all fair game. Uh, especially, like, Monster Tooth, Infusion, Ceremonial Dagger, those are some big ones. I haven't seen any blighted enemies yet because we are so early. taking a lot of damage, and I probably should be careful of that. Um, 
Because we can die. They're not immune to death. Alright, we are on remaining enemies now. Let's get these items up here, and then we'll drop down. Oh my god, another one. Sweet. Another bustling fungus is nice, too, because you can proc them during the boss fight, Providence boss fight, uh, just at various times, uh, so that's not a bad thing at all. We have five cross relic stack now. Not f five of the item, but five of the, uh, the relic itself. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked. One enemy remaining. What? Oh, there you are. I guess we'll fight these guys. I just need one of them to die, and that'll trigger the chain reaction. It will allow us to murder everyone. Yeah, GG. And another one. Awesome. Okay, Q to teleport at the final level. 20 minutes um, is pretty good for just like a casual, normal run. We are on the Risk of Rain. Or, it's not called the Risk of Rain, it's the UES Contact Light. Uh, people call the ship the, uh, the Risk of Rain. That might be, like, a designation for it, like, you know. But it's, it's, the full title is the UES Light. Risk of Rain. And that's, like, the designation, I think. Like, Her Majesty's Sovereign Ship. HMSS, you know, Win Dixie or whatever. This is uh, UESC. No, UES. Yeah, UESCL. Or UESC. I don't know, man. Risk of rain. If you if you get what I'm trying to say here, I'm not actually nautical in any facility in any you know way. My dad was in the Navy, that's about it. I've been on a couple, you know, scouting ventures in my life. Get a bitter root, because it can't hurt. We got 50 max HP from that. Let's see if there's anything up here in these shops that could, you know, provide any immediate benefit. Things that I'm looking for are like, uh, tier ones, especially. You know what, let's get this mystery item, it could be good. Soldier Syringe was basically what I was looking for, yeah. Essentially, that was the main one. <laughs> when you don't have a Soldier Syringe, a soldier, single Soldier Syringe can help a lot. I would love to get that tier 2. We would like to get uh, a key card. So what we're gonna do here... I, I guess it's not necessary. Um, let's kill all the enemies that spawn for this teleporter event. Alright, I'm, I'm a little bit scared from, of the blighted enemy. It's okay, that's a natural reaction, they're terrifying. They are hunter-killers, bred for the sole purpose of murdering everything. They learn at a young age. The only way to get ahead in life is by murdering everything. That is... I don't know. I would like to get a war banner inside the boss room. That would be really good. Doors open. Or will be. Let's hit this. Light to play man is almost dead. Hey, there we go. Yeah, this is good. I need to be careful though. My health is in a, in a perilous state right now. Time Beaver Secret, actually, we're gonna use right here. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't die from the vagrant shots that stack up during the time freeze. Oh, I just dropped my freaking, uh, level up. Oh, boy. All these shock elites are doing a number on me. Holy crap. I'm 
might actually be a good idea to... Uh, you know what, let's fight the boss. Screw it. We could go try and get a key card, but we could also... And we could also farm for a war banner. But we could also just not, and then, you know... Move on with our lives. I would like to get Golden Gun, maybe. I don't know, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. No problem. So the chef fight, or the uh, Providence fight as chef, is fairly easy. Just because you have such good ranged attacks, you just have to dodge. Um, we don't have enough tankiness to just kind of tank through everything, uh, so I'm not going to try. So we're going to try and play it safe here. Uh, we do have a very good set of items here, and this shouldn't be too perilous of a task, actually. I've gotten used to the Providence fight enough at the, by this point that it's kind of a pushover. That said, he still hurts. <laughs> really, the the main way that I think uh, Providence can pull one over on me uh, is by me trying to do too much damage and not just being safe. If you go with safety strats, you're generally going to be just fine. It'll just take a little bit longer, but... Um, yeah, like this. I mean, come on, we're at, like, half health. But we will recover, don't worry. Oh. There we go. Just gotta save the foreign fruits. We can as well, like, sometimes you can get heals off. Um, and each heal, if it gives us 128 heal per tick, then that is not a bad thing at all. Okay, when he teleports, he can't be doing that. But uh, if he does other attacks, then you can sometimes get heals off. Not gonna worry about that too much. Yeah, but like right here, we should get a couple. Yeah, and that's basically back to full. No problem. The other cool thing about Chef is that um, the worm phase is over as soon as it begins. Basically, like it's really easy. You saw, you know, that first worm that we fought. You know how it goes. All right. So when we when we have our cool item on cooldown, I think the important thing is just to, you know, play it safe until that comes back up, and then you can go in for some damage. has less than a quarter of his health left. Ooh, that was a bad hit. It's alright. I should be able to, uh... Oh yeah, especially if he does a ground slam. Pop my health back with some bustling fungus. Bustling Fungus stack is very useful, even if, if you can only get uh, like one or two procs off. That's why stacking it is so important. Eight 
Hey, there we go. Now we wait for this. Apologies about the noise, but it must be done. Whew. Oh yeah. That is the good stuff. So good. We should, however, watch out for these guys, because they hurt. Ow. Ooh, that hurts, yeah. Ow. Just take it easy here. The faster we can kill them off, the better. No, I don't think we get, can get a heal off before that happens. Okay, I need to be actually very careful here. We should just kind of chill out a little bit. I wonder if I can get it off. Oh, I got one heal off. It didn't, it wasn't worth it. Okay, now we have to be careful. Because <laughs> we have the imps. It's kind of dangerous. I'm just going to use this. Are these guys going to warp to me? What are they doing? All right, that's kind of weird. They're stuck in the wall. That's fine. Um, let's try and kill them like like this. Oh my god, I need to be a little bit careful here. Whew. It's getting a little bit spicy, that's fine. Just play it safe here. No need to throw away a victory. I would really like to kill these guys. Awesome, one down. Two down. You are kind of silly, my friend. All right, let's let's kill you. Ow, that hurt. Ow. Okay, don't get hit by that. We have a blighted providence going. Ooh, fireman's boots. That, you know, doesn't do much, but it still helps a little bit. We'll heal up here. Oh, God. All right, blighted providence is a little bit spooky, as always, because this will just straight up make you have one HP. Oh, my God. Whoa. All right, and that's always scary when you get the... The wombo combo of him doing the stuff and then Providence goes for the stun. That is just, I bet that's just hard coded in there. That is just such a troll. Providence likes that move. All right, he just did a stun. Oh, man. All right, just take it easy. We're about halfway there. Jump over the stun. Ow. We got, uh, got the blighted guy, though. Out. 
I thought that we might be able to get that heal off. That's okay. Alright, there's our second and final Lighted Providence. Ow. Climbing up the ladders is a little bit perilous. So they can do that. It's okay. We're going to win here, I think. No, don't stun me, you silly goose. You missed your opportunity. Plasma chain going. Doing some work. Oh, geez, that's probably gonna be a heal right there. Ooh. I saw that attempted stun. But we're down to 10k health on Providence. We're working him down a little bit at a time. And that's going to be about it. Uh, he shouldn't summon another provident or another blighted enemy. What do you say we try and finish this off with a boosted... Oh, I tried to do a boosted seer to finish it off. That's okay. But that's it. That's uh, that's a GG. We got a little bit close there at the end, but I don't think it was ever that close. Um, thank you all for watching this series. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, I will be doing more Risk of Rain. Do not fret. Um, I've been, besides just on my stream, you know, I've, I've gotten back into Risk of Rain a little bit on, you know, due to my, the, the streaming it. I hope you guys come check out the stream sometimes at twitch.tv slash Rayquaza. But uh, if not, then I'll see you in another Risk of Rain video. And I uh, will start doing some more challenge runs, some more interesting runs with artifacts, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. Thank you all for all of your support over the length of the series and the length of my channel. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. I'll make this... Uh, make this... I forgot to make it freaking times one scaling. And so it left, entirely forgetting its previous purpose. Poor chef. So sad. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. 404 kills not found. <laughs> Alright, take it easy. Later.